Welcome to Writing the Lights Out. I'm P.T. Hilton. Let's talk writing. So first of all, I wanted to say this. I do actually own other shirts. This popped into my head just before I started recording, uh, which is that I always wear this exact same shirt, at least the last like three videos I have. So I do own other shirts. And next week I am making a commitment, nay, a promise, that I will wear a different shirt. So um, I was going to say something to look forward to, but if that's what you're looking forward to, that would be weird. All right, let's talk writing. So this week, what I wanted to talk about was um, naming characters. And more importantly, how not to name characters. Because uh, I've made some mistakes in that area. Uh, a lot of times, I don't put a lot of thought into names, especially names of secondary characters. And uh, one thing I'm finding as I'm going through the editing process of my novel, Regulation 19, is that uh, I have a lot of terrible names in there and uh, the most basic mistake that I have made a lot and that maybe some of you out there have made or can avoid making because of this uh, video maybe is that I use the same or very similar names too often so uh, one of my readers uh, my, fr my friend uh, Jared Jared Begora uh, he's, a, he's a writer he, uh, he, was, he was yelled at me because well first of all um, of the first like four or five characters I introduced in the first couple chapters one of the main ones was named frank uh, another of the main ones was named hank um, a little later on within like two pages i introduced two minor characters one whose name was brett and one whose name was red so obviously it could be a little confusing for the uh the readers but i just you know it's one of those things where i just didn't put that much thought into it didn't connect those two together um maybe i i probably wrote those two scenes on different days and just wasn't thinking about those names. Another thing was last names is uh, I tend to use like pretty common last names too often. So I've got like a, I think two or three different characters in the novel with the last name Wilson, who I uh, have no intention of being related to each other. They're not supposed to be related, but they have the same last name. So obviously for a reader that could be confusing. So what do you do? I mean, I've got I've got a fair amount of characters in this book. Uh, a lot of minor characters running around. Um, what do you do? I think the solution is easy. It's just to keep a character list, and you can do that. Just I, I I've been just doing starting to do it on a spreadsheet. Um, I know if you use Scrivener, they have a a nice feature for doing that. I'm not fancy though, so I, I unfortunately don't use Scrivener at this point. Maybe someday. Uh, by the way, if you ever talk to someone who does use Scrivener, they will uh, they will preach preached you good about how awesome it is so I will definitely give it a try because a lot of people I respect use it and like it so I'll try that but however you do it however you make your character list I think of seeing all the names listed there together uh, is very helpful and then you can see what are the similarities what oh, these two characters have the same last name um, just keep a running list as you're writing that's my tip for how to avoid mistakes uh, when naming characters and also say that the names out loud sometimes that like Hank and Frank thing I wouldn't have thought that they would, could possibly be confusing but uh, but as Jerry pointed out uh, he, he actually got a little confused for a minute was like wait is this the same guy because the names were so similar so there you go that's how not to name characters um, head over to pthilton.com I've started my blog series on weird questions the first question is um, if you could travel back in time but you could only be in the past for five seconds where would you go and what would you do if you head over to pthilton.com and leave a comment on that post with your answer and also look through the other comments and and uh give the little thumbs up like button to the the ones that you like um you could win a book one of the posts one of the comments from each of the posts this month is going to win a copy of my book regulation 19 when it comes out that's all for this time uh, thank you for watching i'll talk to you next week and until then Keep writing the lights out.